Hey, welcome to another video. I'm Micah Brown, and this is my channel that nobody watches, but maybe you will because you're here. Anyway, today we're gonna to be talking about a follow-up of a past video that I did of the Rhino Slider versus the Edelkrone. Now, I did that video about three years ago, and a lot's changed since then in terms of not only my opinion, but also where these two companies have gone. Okay, first disclaimer, neither of these companies gave me this stuff for free. All of this is my own unbiased opinion about each of these companies. I do have affiliate links down below for each of these companies as well. So if you're interested in Rhino, affiliate link. And if you're interested in Elecrone, affiliate link in the description below. Also, please use the affiliate links if you're going to purchase one of these items and you saw my video and you felt it was helpful. It helps this channel out immensely. Okay, so the first thing I wanna jump into are some of the new things that I talked about that bothered me about Edelkrone that they've actually addressed. Okay, number one, I talked about it in my last video, but I actually got it, the remote. This remote is amazing, I love it. It makes it so you don't have to have an app and you can still use the full functionality of the slider. It's amazing. It basically takes the whole button system from the Rhino slider that I love and replaces it with a remote, which, honestly, works fantastic. So I love it. So that's one thing. The next thing, and probably the biggest piece for me, is the focus module. Now you can actually pull and set your focus manually and it will do it, which was one of my biggest gripes of the last little Chrome system that they've updated. So they added physical buttons to all of their gear now. So you can hold it down and it'll tell you when it's on and off and that is game changing. Like, I love it. Honestly, I've been super impressed over the last three years of the innovation and the, just what Edelkrone's been doing. So awesome job, Edelkrone. They have addressed a lot of the issues that I had with them. The focus module is like awesome. It's now its own battery. You don't have cables going anywhere. That's the, that's the most amazing thing about Edelkrone is there's like, there's no cables. Like, Rhino, you have multiple cables kind of all over the place, but Edelkrone is clean, it's nice, as long as you get the remote with it. So the next thing, and this is huge, huge compared to what I talked about in my last video, Edelkrone had a huge price reduction in all of their products, which is kind of unheard of and pretty freaking amazing. So now, and I need to get this right, so let me get my... So in my past video for reference, I said the Edelkrone was $3,896. And that was Slider Pro, Slider Plus, Head Plus, and Focus Module. So that would be this module, the slider, the head, and the focus. And that was $38.96. The Rhino, which came with the 24, the 48, the high speed, the high torque, the focus module, and the carrying case for $35.50. So it seemed like a way better deal. And it was at the time. It really was. The Rhino slider was a better deal. However, Edel Crow now, with their price reduction, even without the bundling price, it's 3314. And that adds the vertical module. So it adds three pieces of gear for less than what it was before, three years ago. Which is insane. Like, my hat's off to you, good sir, at a crone. <laughs> Thank you to a company that like truly cares. Prices are gone down, their products keep getting better, they keep having tons of innovations. All of this, like so many more points to Edelkrone than in my last video. I had a lot of gripes and stuff. A lot of what I talked about in the last videos but comparing these two still kind of holds true. There's a few differences. So some of the things that kind of stayed the same in terms is like the speed of use to like get this set up is not true anymore because the remote replaces that. Because this one, I can do everything hand motion, even the focus, set the point, move it again, set the point and then play it. And it's all just right here on the remote versus this one is a lot of like adjustments, movements, instead of just hand movement. Everything about the other, like the stability of the Rhino, it is more stable than the Edelkrone. It does give you a little smoother shots. It does allow for the heavier payload. I do have the Pro over here. This is the Pro head, like, so it holds an Ursa as well. So it will hold, it says it holds 20 pounds. I tested it. This does not hold 20 pounds. This will hold 15 pounds, and this will hold probably 10 to 15 pounds. Yes, not 20. Now to get into the Rhino slider, things that have happened in the last three years. Rhino announced their Rhino Dolly, 
which is a bigger, beefier system that is fully extended. It's basically a Dana Dolly for Rhino, which is awesome. Haven't used it, haven't really needed, had a need for it. They added five key points now instead of just the two. So you can have the more complex movements like you do with Edelkrone. The app stuff isn't quite as, as user-friendly as Edelkrone's. Edelkrone's app has constant updates, which is awesome. And also, ooh, another thing that Edelkrone has done that I love. Sorry, I, I, I don't know if you can tell my bias on this product in this review video or not but I open the app it says you can update but you don't it doesn't force you to update so if you're doing a shoot and you see the update you don't have to do it right away you can do it after the shoot but it tells you like hey there's an update and you can go update it love that before they would force you to do it which would then make hold you on set you had to like double check all your stuff the day before if if an update was released that night suddenly you had to sit on set and wait which is the worst thing ever but now you can skip it and you don't have to worry about adding the update or anything like that until after the shoot. Okay, so Rhino Slider added five key points and honestly, that's about it. Yeah, that's all the updates they did. Yeah. Now the second piece that of the puzzle with Rhino Slider, I used it a lot. I used it a ton for interviews. This thing was a beast. I could put my Ursa Mini on this thing. Right now I just have like the Canon R5. C or whatever, but you can put a heavier camera, put an Ursa on this one and got slide back and forth, just let it repeat forever. It's awesome, I used it all the time and it was really handy for that. It was, it's been a very reliable system for the last four years. However, about five months ago, this motor died, it died. So this system, like the Arc, won't power on anymore. It just gives me a failure, uh, uh, some sort of failure, even when I have it plugged into power. So I kind of was freaking out. I contacted Rhino support and I told them and they said, yes, it sounds like some sort of chip or something in it is broken. It's under warranty so you can send it in. And I was like, great, sounds awesome. They're like, unfortunately, the chip is on back order. And so I was like, okay. And they said it would be done, they'd be ready in March. March came and went, nothing. Reached out to them again still not ready. Reached out again, still not ready. So I, I've been five months without this thing because if the arc dies, this is the problem with Rhino slider. If the arc dies, you can't use the slider, the slider module because the arc powers it. That's what I love about Elochrone is the fact that every piece of equipment is separate from each other and they all have their own power source and ability to do movement without relying on the other one. I don't know if that makes full entire sense the way I said it, but basically I can use, it's all modular. I can use any piece of this without any of the other pieces. So for example, with Rhino slider, I can't use the focus without the arc. I can't use the slider without the arc. The arc powers the whole thing. Also has a built-in battery, which is awesome and lasts forever. However, when it does die, it takes forever to charge versus being able to quickly change batteries whenever you need to. So yeah, I just, I really wanted to do a follow-up about these two. I, I made the video three years ago. It still stands for the majority of the tests that I did still stand. The only major differences are what I just discussed. And honestly, for me, the choice is Elochrome. Like it just is a stronger system. They update more. They, uh, their support is better. They're constantly innovating. Rhino has kind of been stagnant for three years. And I want a company that's constantly wanting to push the envelope and push it somewhere different. Now, for you, those of you watching this channel, thank you, first off. And second, I don't put ads on my channels. I hate, I hate the number of ads that YouTube is starting to do. I don't monetize these channels at all. However, I do have affiliate links in the description below. And with Edelkrone, I have an affiliate link for 10% off if you use uh, the link below, it will give you 10% off your order. If you buy a bundle, then they give you the bundle price anyway. But if you still use the link, that would be very helpful to this channel. It would help me a lot in terms of being able to continue to make these types of videos. I also have an affiliate link to Rhino, but either way, both of these systems are solid. They're really great. Now that I've kind of given you a full review of both of these. Here's the biggest difference between Edelkrone and Rhino Slider. And that is 
this. Boom. They have a whole lineup of products. They've been innovating nonstop. Rhino has kind of stayed within a slider, and yes, they may be like nailing it and making it the best it can be. The thing I love is Edelkrone has, you can add things to it. You can add the, the jib. You can use the same head on both the jib and the slider. You have smaller sliders that are more compact, easier to carry around. You have things for full product, like this turntable, a modular piece that you can also use on on this, on the, sl on the sliders as well. It's just all works together. It's a whole ecosystem of gear. I love that. I love it so much. It just opens up so many more possibilities and it allows you to slowly build what you need into your system instead of having to buy a whole system altogether like the Rhino slider where you have to get the Arc 2 in order to use the other pieces. Edelkrone, you don't you can build up to the system over time. That's what makes Edelkron awesome. I've had a love-hate relationship with them over the years, but they constantly keep evolving and growing and becoming better and maturing. And I think as a company, they've, they've, they've gotten to an amazing place. Like Edelkron is one I would highly recommend, absolutely. Yeah, this is what makes Edelkron great. So if you're interested in supporting this channel and you're interested in these products, please, please use the affiliates links below. It helps me a lot. It makes it so I don't have to put ads on any of these videos ever. And it just would be really helpful to the channel. So thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, check out my other videos. I did a whole video about Rhino Slider and Edelkrone. I have multiple review videos about Edelkrone over the years. Uh, I should probably do an updated one eventually, but I haven't gotten around to it. Anyway, thanks again for watching. And uh, I think a bunch of friggin' robots around me. They're all AI, right? Because AI is taking over the world. No, AI is not taking over the world. It's just, it's just, it's just. All right. Anyway, boop, boop.